All right, we're shooting from a different position today. Uh, I want to go over how to rule lines with a brush. Uh, you don't use a ruler. That would be very messy. It would be very difficult. It'd be pointless to, to try. Okay. The way people do it when they use a straight edge is they use the ruler as a bridge. Okay. Uh, by the way, I got this from this book, Complete Airbrush Techniques by Denver and Denver. And on page 19 is where they cover this technique. So it pays to pick stuff up at uh, flea markets. Okay. You lift it, lift your block from the, uh, the page, put the furl, well the way they, they teach you is to put the furl against the edge and to draw your lines that way. And we're going this way, right? So this, this, this one you'll see. Okay. What I like to do, instead of putting the furl on the edge, put your finger on the edge, maybe even your, your ring finger, and train yourself to move your hand like that, with, with the ring finger and the pinky uh, providing the groove. And this way, when you, when you make your lines, not only can you make straight, let me put this down high, right? not only can you make straight lines, but if you want to, you can, you can make whatever designs you want. So you, you have a vector, you have the general direction in which your hand is moving, which you can control, and in addition to that, whatever manipulative motions you want to make to make designs. Okay, so that's the brush with a ruler as a bridge. This is a real bridge that I made out of some construction material. Uh, both ends are the same. Okay, it sits up over the page, over the paper. And again, you, you can put the ferrule against it and draw mechanical straight lines, but it makes more sense to me if you're going to, to be a, a brush artist to make a groove between your ring and your pinky finger or you could even make the groove the middle of your hand wherever wherever it feels comfortable however you can lock your hand in place like right now I don't know if you can see I'm between my palm and my pinky okay I would say that that gives you like the maximum amount of freedom to move around you can even pivot off of that if you want to at some point and you can make your lines mechanical like this or you make little doodads and curly cues and waves and S's while keeping the main direction constant. So that's very useful. That's a bridge. And now to improve on that at the board, what I did was I made something. Those instruments I showed you, bridge, and uh, the flat the flat ruler type thing, block of wood that you use as a bridge. Those are good for actually getting the lines that you want. But what I was interested in is training my hand. Okay, training my hand and my arm so that I could make these these brush lines and these movements, right? This is a movement of the whole shoulder going up and down across the board. And the idea was eventually to use this as like training wheels so that I could do the same thing without it and get rid of it. Okay, so the first, the first use of it, let me get some ink on the brush, the first use of it was just learning how to keep my hand locked so that I could make proper brush lines. 
Okay, keep the brush the same with respect to the paper. Don't you don't change the angle. You know you don't soak like this for this kind of a pull down stroke. You want to keep the hand and the fingers and everything locked in place so that the brush keeps the same position relative to the page. And practice that page after page after page, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. That's part of your daily training. Afterwards you can add you know little things but but these are the basic these are the basic basic motions that you want to train your arm and your hand uh, to do and then while well, you're saying that's fine for vertical what about horizontal okay. for horizontal lines I made this thing okay it's a kind of a bridge but at, at, at this end of the bridge it locks on. Oops, I gotta move this back, huh? Yeah. It locks on to my bar. Right. As you can see, all of this is dismantled. I haven't used this stuff for years. Uh, but this way, with this, this actually would be locked on. I would, I would tape this with uh, nylon ties. Not tape it, but, but lock it in place with nylon ties. Keep it at a right angle to that bar and be able to slide it up smoothly, uh, which for today I'm using this highly carcinogenic uh, <laughs> uh, insulation, just so that you get the idea. Okay, and this same way, I would either put my, my ring finger in the groove, this is bevel, this is a piece of beveled aluminum, or lock it with my pinky on one side, uh, or slide my palm on it, lock my palm, the palm, the groove of my palm in it. There are all sorts of different ways that you'll you'll figure out of doing it, but this is a way of doing it for horizontal lines. Oops, it's not actually locked, but this isn't really a good position. Okay. Like I said, you can use you can use the ferrule, but that'll give you a mechanical line. The only thing you'll be able to vary there is pressure here like this you can vary both the pressure and then you can make whatever designs you want to make of course you have to be in the proper position and I'm, this is not this is not the case <laughs> right here I'm cramped I've got a bottle of ink I'm scared to death I'm gonna spill something uh, let me just get this out of the way and let me show you what this looks like it's just right angles at both ends I've been using this for something else, so you know it's it's not actually suited for the board anymore. But you make it so that it locks in place and doesn't move. It's very much, oops, it's very much like a drawing machine, except you're the machine. <laughs> you're the part. You you lock into that machine. You become part of it instead of making all these adjustments of the mechanical parts. And the final thing I have is like a mall stick, and this mall stick is actually my cane. Since I use this every day, I figure different ways that it'll be useful for, for things other than walking. And what it's useful for is, is making these lines. I use it as a mall stick just the way a painter uses his mall stick. It hooks on, whoops, I got the ink on the other side, so I gotta be careful. Maybe I'll do it this side. It'll hook on either side so I can use it for vertical or horizontal lines. Didn't spill any ink. This is a triumph. Okay.